do the cognitive functions have political leanings? Probably not. Probably definitely not, but I'm going to explore it anyways. It sounds like a, a fun endeavor to just talk about. I, I think it probably does definitely matter where in the function stack it resides, but really, for the most part, I'm going to be talking about the function as either the dominant function or by itself, does it have political leanings or does it does it care about certain parts of politics or like the politics in general based on that function? So the first function I want to talk about is NI, or introvert intuition, and what we do know about NI in terms of what it seeks to understand is what will be or what is going to happen. So obviously that plays into a certain type of political thought, but probably with all the introverted functions that are subjective to the user, it's going to be hard to say all NI users, all SI users are going to have this thought about this this political thing. And but you could say when we get into the extroverted functions, you could probably say there's going to be more collective thought around this idea or this uh, candidate or what we should do in terms of society or taxes or international conflict or something like that. So NI is looking to answer, like I said, what does the future hold? How will things be? But it's interesting because NI in its youth, a youthful NI wouldn't know how to answer this question. You have a 20-year-old NI user would have a really bad answer. They don't have enough data points. A 50-year-old or 60-year-old NI user would probably be who you want to ask or to get the most well-thought-out response on what does the future of politics look like? From a political compass perspective, I would say NI is slightly right of center on like the four quadrants map. And I think in a weird way, NI would use SI to draw the conclusion. And, and I feel like they, NI would come to the conclusion, which is the only thing that will work future oriented is what's always worked before in certain contexts. So like it would say the future is not ever going to be devoid of the past, but here's how it will be. Especially when, when humans come into it, we don't change in terms of how we deal with each other, how we network, how we are as social beings. So I think the NI user might say, well, we're never going to get rid of this aspect, SI. So given that, here are the possible, only possible outcomes. But in terms of outcomes, you're going to see NI being bored by the short-term day-to-day drama of politics. I don't think and I would really seek to understand local tax code or um, tort reform or cap and trade or anything that is very detail-oriented. They're looking for mega political shifts. They're looking for things that are going to make massive impacts on like at the level of like should we go with democracy or should we try something else? Like what political systems will work, which I think NI users will always go towards political philosophy less than application or how we're going to implement it. The kind of fanciful thought I had about NI was that, well, eventually, given a long enough timeline, NI users as a collective eventually would gather the right data to all come to the same decision about how things should go or how things are going to be. I think that there is a tendency, I've not done the research on that, so. I don't care, but I think there's a tendency for NI users to get caught up in the, we're going towards, towards a full automated machine learning robotic universe where humans are no longer need. I feel like when you, you kind of look back at um, that sort of thought, like Isaac Asimov and, and sort of science fiction, you see a lot of these people are um, NI users. And it seems like there is a collective consciousness within the NI universe that says we are going towards this automated universe. These like cities that are fully created by super intelligent AI, which to me seems like a really horrible place to live. But that's that to me 
is also another aspect that I want to talk about with NI is I do not believe NI ever has a positive outcome for especially politics. Like there is an inevitable doom on the horizon and the best we can do is try to survive it or do our best while we're inside something that's collapsing. But in terms of strictly political views, I do not believe NI users as a collective will ever say things are going to go well. They can have positive outlooks for themselves, for their business, their career, for their friends group, for their family life. But I think in that specific aspect about the political realm, NI always goes, this is not going to turn out well. As I go through this series, I'm very interested to hear from you as to what you believe, um, especially the introverted functions. If there is a collective thought process that they might have around politics, um, you may agree with me that, like I said in the beginning, that extroverted functions, especially ones like extroverted feeling, I think might have a very universal thought process around what politics should be, what they are. Um, perceiving things correctly. I think that's part of the why the introverted functions will be like they will not agree with each other because obviously it's subjective and the data gathered to make um, some of those decisions or the limited data that has been gathered to draw a conclusion will greatly affect uh, people being on the same page. So I'm going to try this series. I'm sure those people are going to be like, wow, this is complete. No, of course a function can't be political, but we're going to explore it because that's what we do in type. We have to, we have to move the discussion forward by asking ridiculous questions like this. What do you think specifically about introverted intuition and its political leanings? Thanks for watching.